Now, depending on the kind of fire, especially when you're running with a uh, clan group or online role playing, will actually determine on what kind of fire you are dealing with. And sometimes, I mean, you go to a fire that would require a ladder truck, or you could go and get a fire that's just that you don't need one or the other app, but it doesn't matter. Because really, the high-rise fires are what ladder trucks are used for and have a tendency to be a handicap for the um, for this truck here when you're busy using it. Because you're trying to uh, do things to uh, go to the thing because it actually holds the most water. And what you end up having is situations that become problematic making it harder to be able to use and uh, so like if you get into this truck here this may not be the do-it-all kind of truck see what I'm saying so we will be showing that too now to set one of these up you got to go into aim and then you got to find out what the default controller selects it through uh, for me, I pushed down the mouse button for all that. So this will change it right and left. This allows it to extend it. This will allow how it's going to lay down. And then there you go. The ladder is set. Now for this, because of the nature of the location, we have a fire plug. And I'm going to take the advantage of it to maintain water pressure and supply to my truck. And then I got my water supply hose. Now when you go to put this on the fire, you'll know when you hit it that there'll be a marker. Now if you notice there's a blue circle on the marker that is moving around. And the fire burns so this is covered. That's why I like, even though that I got this ladder set, there's another player in here because sometimes you could ride with the other player at a call and gets out runs a hose he may run up there on top of the building to see what kind of fire has to be put out going up to the ladder you go to use the ladder the only people that need to be really on this ladder are people that are involved in handling the fire because sometimes you get people that are in the police department I don't know what they're climbing up on the ladder for because even in real life you cannot do that but I guess they do maybe the calls quit and for the department and uh, they didn't um, reported that they had stopped because something glitched out or whatever but uh, really the only people need to be up here is whoever is handling it or fire related because you get some people role play the battalion chief well you kind of expect him to be on the roof when you have a battalion chief because he's the man in charge now one of the things about these kind of calls you got like smoke that's on the inside so this is where that fan becomes important to uh, use. So you just take the fan, put it into the front door, and let that go. Now, sometimes, for some reason, it seems like the host player is the only one that can pick up victims or locate them and pick them up out of here. So usually I'll take them and put them in this area all you basically do is to interact is that you're requesting a transport now I don't know if I could request the same thing for an ambulance but from what I know uh, and I'm not talking AI I'm talking about uh, a player 
but anyway, so for the most part, it seems like the host player is the only one that can see these guys. And for also, for some reason, his fan is the one that clears the area. So if you put your fan in there, you've been in there, you ain't seen nobody. Uh, that's just the, the nature of way how it goes for right now. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what is the purpose of having this fan? Now, let's see here. As it was explained to me, I'm ex explaining this right, um, when you have a fire, like let's say this vent is what's burning, okay? And when this fire is like in an enclosed area, all that smoke in there, true, you need the self-contained breathing unit to be able to breathe when you come in here but um, I do know that there's like a the the, the smoke is, is like stuff that is burnt off that's why it's black because it's it's unburnt fuel now that goes back to auto mechanics because if your car is running rich and you're burning black you're running too rich not all of it's being burnt so that's why it comes out like that so the principle is basically the same because even though this is metal and you have plastic, whatever the metal is dipped in so it won't rust as effective. The sign is made of, got paints and material on it that's flammable. The blinds are made out of plastics and stuff and so forth because there are many things that are in here that are can be uh, uh, flammable when a fire is directed to it. So when all this smoke and all this burning is in here, even though the fire actually is right here, um, collects inside the room, makes the room hotter, and then the fire starts developing in other locations with inside the building that originally was not why the fire started. The fire started for whatever reason is going on here, but because everything collected has now the place has turned into a hot box that it actually starts to ignite because the smoke is hot. That's where you get the breathing apparatus because you're breathing from it. And I'm hope I'm explaining this right because the, the smoke is hot and it's trapped. And I guess this is what indulges like the, uh, I guess the back, back draft. Uh, no, that's, it's, that creates a lot of flammable smoke and uh, the fire begins to smother. Then you open the door up and then the whoosh fresh air of oxygen, I think, is what causes that. But anyways, the purpose of this fan is to ventilate that smoke and get it out of the building. So what is burning is burning, not the entire place. That's the, I guess, is the, the basic reference of what this fan is used for. And so therefore, that is how the fan gets used here. So really, those are the bases of the... Um, use of the fire truck you can uh, other fire personnel can share water supply off the trucks and stuff there are actually way more different kinds of call outs that are here of course you're going to have your container fires and vehicle fires those call outs are available some of these building fires will be relevant between the ladder trucks to be used to actually bolt because there have actually been some in which the fire was high, like one call I went to with my uh, ladder truck partner, uh, he got the high part of the fire that could be, that you had to use the ladder for, for. and I res used the, my, even though that I'm using a ladder truck, I got the low part of the fire by running the lines off the side of my truck. So now if he was running the ladder and the tanker, then I would be handling that with the tanker while he runs the ladder. Because he's very, very good with it. But because there was two of us and some of these calls, you need to have two ladder trucks to help out because the fire's in the front of the high part of the building and there's another one behind it or beside it and it's more efficient to use both ladder trucks. So that was why we mostly run around in ladder trucks. And that's actually the truck I prefer to use. 
but uh, other than that, um, you have the there are more calls that are further available for the fire department besides just rescuing a cat out of the tree or an accident call. So the um, there are like about several different kinds of fires that you can go to. They're spread about uh, between the vehicles, containers, as well as building fires. It's just that I wish that sometimes that when you receive a building fire call for a high-rise fire, it would, instead of saying uh, building fire, it would say high-rise fire. That way you know at the station what truck you're going to need to handle that call. Because if it's a building fire, either or can run it. And if it's a high-rise fire, well, if the ladder truck is going to be needed, that's what they're used for. So, but, uh, but it doesn't, and that's just the way that is. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't take away the fun. Uh, it was different for me to actually use the fire department and uh, learn more and more how to use this role. I'm still learning and trying to understand certain things with it that I tend to get lost. But the, uh, but all in all, the uh, this actually has been a fun role. I thought it was very nice of the two players because one of them actually happened to be for a volunteer fire department and the other one did work for EMS. So it was really fun to be in an all-nighter with them while they were sitting there explaining this stuff to me so that I could be able to, uh, uh, so I had a better understanding how everything is done. But uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this updated tutorial and help make things a little bit more clear, hopefully. Um, I'm going to put up a tutorial for the ladder truck because that's a very interesting entity and it would just take up more video time trying to do it off of this one. So it's simple just to have it by itself. So thank you. Have a good day.